this guy. So yeah. then Laura gets yeah. up and she says, but what about our moral responsibility to the poor black children of South Providence? Oh, yeah. 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 She drives me crazy. I can't stand her. Oh, God. <clears throat> the men's throw boy to the war is gone in the ranks of death. You'll find him. This is a Polak and a Portuguese singing an Irish war song. It's blasphemy. You gotta get his pump. Did these guys? <laughs> That was awful. Tommy, do the poem, uh, the, the office, the Kipling. It's been a while. I insist to be a good moral lesson. Come on, Tommy, these heathens could use some morality. Hey, I'm, ta I'm specifically talking about the Come on, come on. I will come down there and hurt you. Show them what your mother taught you. Sincere, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Come on, Tom. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, Tom. Let's hear it. If you can trust just, if you can, <clears throat> if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. You can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools. Or see the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you. If all men count with you but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Who well, knew folks on the hill could read? <laughs> Representative Shakespeare, yeah. salute. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Speaker. Think a guy with that literacy could use a few tax credits? <laughs> <laughs> tax credits and finance committee, they're out of my purview. Oh,